Today, I'm gonna to talk about knee braces. Six point one eight miles, eight minutes, thirty nine seconds from out, one hundred and forty four beats per minute today. Going for a run in this mega knee brace for my run today, and feeling pretty good. But before I get to my thoughts on whether knee braces actually help runners, uh, I do want to go over some disclosures. None of the knee braces that I'm going to be talking about in this video were sent to me for a purpose of review. I purchased all of these myself, and no one's going to be getting a chance to review any of my thoughts or footage before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. I think an additional disclosure that I need to make is that I'm not a licensed medical care professional. I'm not any sort of trained healthcare professional. I'm just a guy that runs a lot, has had like a nagging knee issue and is just trying to figure things out and has looked to now some of these knee braces to see if any of these can help. Now with the disclosures out of the way, let's talk about knee braces in general. I think that knee braces, um, no matter which one you're looking at, uh, it's gonna work for some people and not for others. And I think it's gonna primarily depend on the nature of your injury or the nature of your discomfort. So before we go look at any of these individually, let's talk about kind of like what I'm looking for in terms of protection on the knee. So the thing that's been going on with my knee is that um, uh, over time, uh, it's, I feel like it's a more of a overuse injury. But one of the things that I'm feeling now is that for the first anywhere between mile to like four or five miles, I'll feel absolutely fine. And then at cer a certain point, it'll just start feeling uh, like maybe like there's a little bit of pain like behind the kneecap, sometimes at the front of the kneecap, sometimes it's at the bottom, sometimes it's at the top. I don't think it's an IT band thing because I never feeling any tenderness in any of the IT band or on a, any of the side according to touch. But I do feel like it's either some sort of patellar tibial or patellar femoral tendonitis uh, that's going on there, maybe also resulting in some sort of like misalignment in terms of tracking. So that's what I think I have going on. Again, I'm not a medical professional. This is just me Googling a whole bunch of stuff on YouTube and kind of like, no, it doesn't sound like this. It does sound more like this. These are the kinds of things that tend to make it feel better. These are the kinds of things that don't have any effect on me at all. And that's kind of where I'm at. So that's how I also approach these different knee sleeves. So let's take a look at the first one and I'll take them from like lightest to heaviest. The first one I'll take a look at is from OS First. It's their patellar sleeve. And I recently took a look at some OS First calf sleeves and I really liked those. I felt like they were really thin, but compressive enough to be supportive. And so I thought, well, maybe something like that that's designed to kind of fit around my knee. So I tried this one and the idea is that it sits like right underneath uh, the bottom of the kneecap and the back of it kind of like cups in behind in like the part of the knee that bends. And I just generally found that this stayed on fine and it felt compressive. I just didn't do anything for me. So I didn't feel like it did me any benefit or any worse. I kind of just felt like this is it's like someone took their regular calf sleeve and then just cut off the part that covered the calf. I felt like wearing the calf sleeve was just the same to me as wearing the uh, patellar sleeve. So I didn't really feel like it did me any good. I was able to wear, I ran in this one twice. I ran it once with shorts and once like underneath my tights and I didn't feel like it made the tights bunch up or have any fit issues or anything like that. So it was absolutely fine. It just didn't do much for me. Now, the next one that I'll take a look at is this uh, patellar strap. And this one has like a lot of Velcro on it. So there's like two kinds of ways you can really cinch it down. So your leg goes in here and then you cinch down both sides and you get a really tight fit. And the shape of this, if I turn it inside out, it's kind of like a, it um, looks like a, almost like a dog bone in terms of the shape. And what that does is it ends up with this part cradling the bottom of your kneecap and this part comes up a little bit uh, higher on the sides of the leg and it ends up uh, kind of cradling the kneecap and keeping it in place. Uh, and so I actually found like this one made things feel a little bit better. I kind of liked it. Um, 
I did feel like kind of like halfway through the run, I really wished I would have restopped and like re-cinched it. It didn't completely eliminate my knee discomfort, uh, but I did feel like, oh, well, you know, the onset of symptoms seemed to be a little bit later. And it also felt like uh, when the symptoms did arise, they didn't quite hurt me quite as much. So I felt like this helped me kind of like get through the run. Whether that's good or bad is kind of a secondary question, but in terms of like getting me through a day, I felt like I really liked this one. Uh, I only ran in this one once though, and it was with shorts. I haven't run with this one yet underneath tights, but I think it's gonna be a little bit bulky, but probably fine if you need to do that as the temperatures get colder. Now, the next one I'll talk about is this gigantic thing. Uh, it's a big knee kind of sleeve. It goes over from like the middle of the thigh down towards your calf. And uh, you could see it's got all this like stuff in it and I'll turn it inside out so you can get kind of a better look at uh, what's going on. So over the kneecap, it has this uh, basically a donut that's supposed to kind of like cover the shape of your knee and then kind of compress it and hold it in place. And then on the sides, it's got these things that are here that are basically just seems kind of like a thick plastic insert that's in here. Uh, and there's one on each side and that just kind of keeps the whole leg in alignment, or at least I think that's what it's trying to do. Uh, the material, it's really thick and uh, really hot. Uh, even in the colder temperatures, I did feel like it just made my leg feel really warm. It made my kneecap feel really warm. I felt like there was a lot of heat coming in there. It made it a lot harder for me to bend my leg properly when I was wearing this thing. But again, like the patellar um, strap, uh, I did feel like you know my symptoms didn't start for a lot longer. And when I did get them, I was still able to run with a little less discomfort than I might normally have. So I felt like you know maybe this was doing something but you know, it's also to the point where like, I, I don't know, some days I have good days, some days I have bad days. I might've just had this on a good day. I also feel like, you know, I've been working for a long time on leg mobility for a couple of weeks now in terms of leg mobility, leg strength. Uh, I think I'm finally starting to figure out glute activation a little bit more as well. And so I don't know if things like just my mechanics are improving and this is my knee kind of improving on its own and it coincides with me wearing these different leg braces, or if the leg braces are really helping. I'm not actually sure which one it is. I ran in this one a couple times in the video footage that you just saw, and another time underneath tights, and it, you know, even as big and bulky as this thing was, it still fit under my tights uh, just fine. So uh, I'm able to run in all three of these. But none of these is really like jumping out at me in terms of this is something that I gotta run in all the time until my knee completely heals. So uh, I was able to run in, in each of these at least once when my knee kind of like didn't feel as good like a, lot, like a week ago, two weeks ago. Then I took a little bit of a break from all of these devices and then I tried them again like this week. And so, um, you know, there's improvement, but there was also improvement in the time when I wasn't uh, wearing any knee brace at all. So it's really hard for me to tell. It's not like really jumping out at me as like, this is something you gotta do. So. In my opinion, unless I think that you're working with a healthcare provider that's saying like, get yourself like a big giant knee brace or get yourself like a patellar strap, I'm not sure that this is something that like a runner needs to pick up. It seemed like the worse my knee was, the less that the knee braces seem to help. And when now when I'm at a point where I feel like my knee is kind of like on the other side of like this kind of injury or like this weird nagging issue, um, I do feel like maybe it's helping but again, I'm just not sure. The results to me in my limited testing and my uh, sample set of one uh, just isn't really getting a noticeable difference. So I'm not sure that these knee braces work, but you let me know if you guys have been running in knee braces or patellar straps, uh, if you're running in them a long time continuously or had to wear them just for a very short amount of very specific time. I'd love to hear a little bit more about that in terms of how did it go for you guys and uh, what kind of results you got and whether you think any of these things are actually worth buying. So uh, that's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments down below, or better yet, feel free to stop on by the live stream. I do a live stream every day at three o'clock. If you feel free to ask me any questions you want there, hopefully I'll see you there. Uh, stay safe out there on your runs, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.
Yo, what's going on?